absolutely badass multi-scale Raptor from Skirvis and Guitars. This guitar is packed with features and is an absolute pleasure to play. Let's take a closer look at the specs. Right off the bat you'll notice this gorgeous one-piece eye poplar top and a blue satin finish with the matching headstock. Um, here we have a pale moon ebony fretboard and both are bound and are very well done. Um, here on the back we have neck through body construction with a five-piece Wenge Bubinga neck. Here we have black limba body sides. And you can see this heel is super duper contoured and it's really easy to get all the way up to the 24th fret. And this is a multi-scale instrument, so that allows for really tight, thick chugs on the low strings and really easy, effortless bends in the high ones. So the scale length of this guitar actually goes from 25 inches to 26 inches on the low strings. I felt that this guitar would be a perfect vehicle to test our new prototype progressive tension strings that we are working on, and they pair together beautifully. Be on the lookout for those. Here we have 24 immaculately fretted stainless steel jumbo frets. On the side of the neck we have lumen lace side dots inside of black circles that make it really easy to see on both a brightly lit and a dimly lit stage. Uh, moving on for the bridge, we have really, really solid ABM single saddles, which allow just the perfect distance for this multi-scale setup. Um, combined with these hip shot locking grip lock tuners, I have to double check it sometimes to make sure there's no ever tuned bridge on this thing because it is seriously rock solid. Moving on to the electronics, we have an interesting combination of two of my favorite bare knuckle pickups from the UK. Um, here we have a Misha Mansour signature juggernaut, which is one of my favorite modern pickups. And here we have a Mule, which is akin to a PAF style pickup. I didn't think these two would go well together, but boy was I wrong. Um, they blend beautifully and they can get a wide sweeping combination of tones. The actual control layout is quite interesting as well. We have a single volume knob and a typical three-way which selects the neck bridge or both respectively. But here we have something Skirvison calls the World Domination Mod, and this is a proprietary passive circuit which allows you to select from humbucker mode, split coil mode, as well as a passive acoustic-y type mode, which I personally like to use for a very spanky, split coil kind of funky sound which you heard at the beginning of the video. Simply put, this guitar kicks some serious ass. It's lightweight, resonant, plays like butter, hugs your body comfortably, stays in tune perfectly, sounds great with the versatile switching system, and considering how loaded with features it is, comes in at a very attractive price point and estimated build time. For more information, head on over to wireguitarist.com. Thanks guys.